Hello and welcome to Art With Me, Katie Cordy. Today I shall show you how to draw the adorable but endangered red panda. I will use Sharpie and crayons, but you can use whatever medium you want. So to start off our red panda, we're going to start with its head. And for its head, we're going to do a soft curving line. followed by bringing it downwards into a pointy little chin. So you might end up with something that kind of looks like a lemon. And if it's very circular, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. Our next step, kind of on, on my rainbow side of my head, is I'm going to do two small triangle ears. And I like to put a line down each of them just to make them a little more three-dimensional. My next step are gonna be my eyeballs. And so my eyeballs are gonna be pretty low on the head, especially compared to say a cat. And I made mine into circles. And I like to add a little curve for a white spot before putting in my pupils. Then I'm going to add a square for my nose. And a little smile. Red pandas also have little markings. They have little white eyebrows, which you don't actually have to draw out. I'm just doing so, so that it'll be easy to see. They have white marks on their cheeks. And then their muzzle is white. And now we're going to do our body. And for our body, we're not going to draw a neck. We're going to go straight down into the body, which I do a slightly curved line before dropping to my legs, but you can also just do a flat straight line if you want. And I'm going to draw both of my legs. And their legs are pretty short, so don't go too crazy. For my paws, I do have the choice of doing the half circles with three lines in them, like I've done in my previous videos for cats and dogs. But in this case, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do a quarter circle before drawing a straight line and matching with the leg. Then once I have my paws, I'm going to do one, two, three lines. One, two, three. And these are my paws. Then for my body, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have him standing. So I'm gonna draw my belly and my back. Again, no neck. And I'm gonna essentially copy my paws. Three. And then last but not least, I need a nice fluffy tail. And then before I begin coloring, I'm going to mark out his markings just so that they're clear when I begin coloring. And so his legs, are, or her legs, are going to be very dark black, while the body's going to be orange with the white markings and the white ears. And then the tail is going to be tipped black with orange stripes, dark orange stripes across the tail. And again, you don't have to draw these out. I just like to do so in this case, just to make it very clear. Oh, and before I forget, if you want to give your little fellow a snack, you can give him a snack of bamboo by drawing a rectangle with lines across, and then adding sprigs of bamboo by essentially drawing a little line and then drawing a narrow teardrop shape. And you don't even have to do the lines if you don't want to. But that way he has a good snack. And 
And now I'll color. And here is my example of a red panda.